Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the newly released iOS 18.3. After about a month of beta testing, Apple has officially released this update available to all iPhone users. This update brings significant changes to Apple intelligence, along with a handful of bug fixes and improvements. We're gonna break down everything new in iOS 18.3, so stick around to see what's changed and how it might impact your daily experience. Let's get started. If you're ready to update, here's how you can do it. Open the settings app, scroll down to general, then tap on software update. Once you see iOS 18.3, tap on update now. The build number for this update is 22D63. And if you're on iPad, iPad OS 18.3 is also available. First up, let's talk about the changes to Apple Intelligence notification summaries. This feature has been under some scrutiny after issues were raised by news outlets like the BBC. One high profile example involved a summary incorrectly claiming that an accused individual had shot himself. Definitely not the type of error you want to see. To address these concerns, Apple has now made several changes, including temporarily disabling summaries for news and entertainment apps. Notification summaries for these two categories have been turned off for now. Apple says that it will bring them back in a future update after further refinements. There's also new visual indicators. Summaries are now displayed with italicized text on the lock screen, helping them stand out from regular notifications. You can also disable summaries for a specific app directly on the lock screen or notification center. This is what I mean. Just swipe to the left, tap on options, and tap on turn off summaries. Also, iOS 18.3 now clearly labels notification summaries and other Apple intelligent features as beta. And there's a warning in settings about possible errors. Next, let's talk about the updates to visual intelligence, which are exclusive to iPhone 16 models. You can now scan a flyer or a poster with your camera and visual intelligence will automatically recognize the event and add it to your calendar. Visual intelligence can also now identify an even broader range of plants and animals. This is great for nature enthusiasts or anyone that's curious and likes information quick. One of the most controversial changes to iOS 18.3 is that Apple intelligence is now enabled by default. For users updating to iOS 18.3 or newly setting up iOS 18, Apple intelligence will automatically be turned on during the onboarding process. If you're not comfortable with this, you can disable it. Start off by navigating into settings. From here, scroll down to Apple Intelligence and Siri. Here, you can turn it off and then just confirm that you actually wanna turn off Apple Intelligence. As with any iOS update, iOS 18.3 also includes smaller tweaks and bug fixes. The calculator app now repeats the last operation when you press the equal signs again. Great for repetitive calculations and something that been available in previous versions of iOS but had not been there since the release of iOS 18. iOS 18.3 fixes an issue where the keyboard might disappear when making typed Siri requests. It also resolves an issue where music continued to play even after the Apple Music app was closed. Overall, iOS 18.3 might not be a game-changing update, but it introduces some welcome refinements and fixes. The changes to notification summaries address some major concerns and the new visual intelligent features brings exciting functionality to the iPhone 16. But what do you think? Are these updates enough? And how do you feel about Apple enabling Apple intelligence by default? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.